Good day traders and welcome to the premium video newsletter for Friday, July 12, 2013. Starting with the fundamentals this morning, we had the University of Michigan's main consumer confident index fall slightly to 83.9 points in July from 84.1 in June. The median forecast in the market was for a modest rise to 84.7. Aside from this number, we had very few earnings come out today. One important earnings announcement that I want to bring up is the JP Morgan announcement this morning. The stock had better than expected earnings and is trading at the 52 week high. However, if you look at today's trading, you will see that the stock opened near the high of the day and drifted down from there. It's actually a perfect double top pattern, but this is not the reason why I'm bringing it up. The positive earnings was a result of investment banking and not, I repeat not, growth in borrowing. Earlier this week or late last week, I discussed three main stocks to look at for the long-term bull run. And I mentioned Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and JP Morgan, because these stocks are very heavily influenced by rising interest rates due to the fact that they are responsible for residential loans for up to 70% of the US residential market. These three stocks are going to begin moving when lending picks up. And as you can see, the reason why JP Morgan is down today on very positive news is because investors were hoping that the rise in quarterly income will result from an increase in lending, not investment banking. We have to be patient, but it will happen in a few months. So be prepared for a good upwards move in these three stocks in the coming months. The double top pattern that you see is relevant and I do believe we will have a correction in the stock to the 52 level. But I also believe that in the next year this stock has a potential to double if interest rates continue moving higher. If you recall this stock dropped heavily when lending dried up and it will rise just as fast when it begins again shortly. Technically, the S&P 500 contract is near yesterday's high, which is a bullish sign considering the magnitude of yesterday's move. Most traders believe the market is a bit overdone, at least for the short term, and we should have a correction at least to the 1655 level before the market decides what it'll do next. I do believe since the Feds showed their hand in regard to the stimuli program, the next move in the market will be determined by the earnings reports we will be seeing more frequently starting next week. We also have large amounts of economic data scheduled for next week, so we should see some more volatility to the downside very shortly. The US dollar rallied a bit today, but interestingly enough only to yesterday's high and did not, I repeat not, fill the gap that was made earlier this week. On a fundamental level, the monetary policy in the U.S. is very loose right now in light of the Fed's bond buying program. Typically, when the country's monetary policies are not too strict, the currency tends to weaken, and this is exactly what's happening to the dollar. The truth is, till the country can stand on its own, the dollar will be looking for direction, and right now, it looks like it's going to move down for at least the short term. I'm expecting it to go down to the 81 and a half level and I will keep you posted when we get there in the near term. The British pound rallied strongly yesterday on unusually large short covering. The market drifted a bit lower today as well. If you notice yesterday's high was at the perfect resistance level and the pound is waiting for further news on China's slowing economy and export numbers in the coming days to determine future movement. I truly think we will have some more clarity on the pound. Till then, it should remain choppy for at least the next few trading sessions. The Aussie broke out to a new low today, also partly due to China's economic concerns. However, the breakdown does not appear to be very convincing. There was very little volume and the penetration of the low area was barely broken. There is no momentum here and I'm still anticipating a slow range bound action in this market. The overall trend is still down, but I feel we will have a mild pullback in this market shortly. Not as significant as what we're seeing in gold, but something meaningful to gain some advantage to the short side. 
We triggered a new position today, ticker symbol QEP, and the position seemed to be moving according to plan, at least for now. Place a buy stop at the 3050 level and we will keep an eye on it for now. I'm expecting taking profits at the 27.5 to 27 level. I will update you as things develop. Take a look at Wells Fargo over the weekend and its 4x4 setup to the upside. The stock is near the 52 week high but is also waiting for some strength from the economy to move forward. The truth is we have to face it now or later. Economy will get better and as soon as it does, interest rates will go up as well. And this is what these bank stocks are waiting for right now. It's their bread and butter. Also take a look at the following stock making 4x4 setups to the downside. Atlas Resources, ticker symbol ARP. That's it for today's tutorial. Have a great weekend and I will update you Monday morning as usual.